we have probably one pathologist to every 500,000 Kenyans. But in the rest of Africa, we have one pathologist to a million Africans. So there are countries that don't have access to these services at all. I am Dr. Joshua Kibera. I am a pathologist and the founder of the Pathology Network. We have a software platform that we've developed that connects hospitals who have patients who are doing surgery to a network of pathologists for diagnosis. But the system and the problem it's addressing is not a Kenyan problem. It's not even an African problem. This is a global problem. We're in Meru, three, four hours away from Nairobi. We have recruited a number of labs across the country. So a raw cancer center is one of the labs. Each lab receives tissue samples from the geographical area around it. And in this case, a raw cancer center gets tissue samples brought in from all over central Kenya. They come in and they're processed. And when we say process, it means we convert that tissue from a human tissue to a slide. Our team then distributes that to our pathologists. So the kind of work that I do is I report cases remotely for the pathology network. I receive um, slides um, in my home office and I look at the cases and then I come up with diagnosis and reports. And the pathology network has this um, innovative software. Uh, it's one of a kind actually in the country and it allows uh, pathologists to be able to go in, into the software, log in and input our results. VCH Agoria Hospital is a level five referral hospital. We serve residents from areas within and around uh, our region. Our vision here at PCH Agoria Hospital is to be the leader in provision of specialized healthcare. Achieving this vision is collaborating with various partners and organizations. One of our key partners is the Pathology Network, for whom we closely work, especially in the surgical and medical departments, to enable us to properly diagnose our clients and offer them the care that they need. The importance of the diagnosis that we make and how it impacts people's lives. People have their breasts removed. They have major surgeries that remove large sections of their bowel based on that one report. So I take it extremely you know, seriously every time I make a diagnosis because I know the downstream consequences of, those, of that diagnosis. We have a surgical training program uh, in conjunction with the College of Surgeons of East Central and Southern Africa, that's COSEXA. We established this program in 2018. The program is uh, essentially, uh, they will be fully qualified and uh, recognized general surgeons upon graduation. Dr. Morrow is a very passionate man about, about Chogori Hospital, about quality in surgery. I was really happy when he approached us and, and he felt he could you know, work with us. Uh, decentralizing training in um, hospitals like Chogoria really changes and, and increases the number of surgeons that a country like Kenya can train. For example, it's difficult to find in a county even more than two pathologists. Eh? But the pathology network is able to harness these resources, pathologists in different places, to provide service. So in that way, we are here in Chogoria, but we can get seven pathologists reporting for us. That is incredible, and I think that's the innovation we need moving forward in healthcare in Kenya. We've set time targets for every part of the diagnostic chain. What period of time does it take to move from Chogoria Hospital to our processing lab? We then take that slide and give it to one of our pathologists. How long does that process take? And by monitoring the efficiency of each component, we've managed to create a system that is efficient at that level. The infrastructure that the pathology network has set up makes it extremely easy for me to be able to connect with my colleagues and be able to have a discussion, share thoughts. This is very important because every now and then you'll run into a difficult case, uh, you need to share ideas. It's a pathology practice and in a practice, uh, collaboration is very important. 
And currently all the pathologists are in Kenya, but in the future where, you know, this is global. It could go, the pathologist could essentially be anywhere in the world that, they, that has an internet connection. The collaborations with the pathology network, TPN, uh, helped me a lot in terms of my reading. Once you see your patients uh, and you do uh, procedures, you're able to get pathology reports, and then you're able to link that up with your reading and with your assignments. Our training is actually patient-based. So you see a patient in the world, maybe they have prostate cancer, you do a biopsy, you have to go read around that, and then maybe sometimes do a write-up. So uh, the pathology network has really come in very hard in getting us good uh, reports. Our residents have been able to understand the troubles that pathologists go through for them to bring an interpretation. What is a good specimen? What is a bad specimen? Why do you get an inconclusive report sometimes? And so through this uh, relationship we have, our residents have learned how to treat specimens better. And so that improves the quality of the reports that we get from the pathology network. When they get these awesome reports, they then know, wow, this is exactly what my, this is what I did, this is what I did right, this is what I did wrong, and they improve. And that means we've improved surgical training by giving feedback. I'm very grateful that we actually have a network that um, gives us uh, the pathology services, um, just from cytology all the way to histopathologies and to immunohistochemistries, because that's still part of training for us. We, we are exposed to all types of cancer uh, thanks to that, because I don't think we've ever sent a sample that has not come back as you know, well reported. Um, it also gives us the service in time. So we have a 48 hour express service, we have five day service, we have a five, seven day service. So we've never had a hold up of uh, results. And that means good uh, quality care to the patient. It means that you can potentially double the number of surgeries done every month simply by improving the speed of the diagnostic process. This is a big part of what Pathology Network does. I envision more collaboration, being able to collaborate with uh, pathologists overseas and being able to exchange thoughts will most definitely enhance our service delivery, our diagnostic capacity. I know that there are plans to get digital pathology to be more of a primary diagnostic tool those are the things that I look forward to. Being able to diagnose more, diagnose faster, um, being able to collaborate more. We should share that resource across the country, regardless of where that pathologist works. So it shouldn't be that because they work for a specific lab, the rest of the country can't use that resource. I think we have an ethical and moral obligation to make best use of this individual and their skills. And this is the dream that we have.